Hello guys, CMD here and we're back in Kerbal Space Program where we left off we were just about to land back to Earth from from our first flight there it is and we were about midway in space or halfway around our orbit and we were just about to try and land around this area so let's fly this, fly this ship Right, we have quite a decent amount of fuel left, and we are going to try and land right there. So, we haven't got much time, and this might be quite difficult. No, oh, wrong one, wrong one. Damn it, it's right there. Uh, sorry if I'm not talking, I'm just trying to concentrate. Um, yeah, well, it looks like we've missed it. It's going to burn a little longer. God damn it. It's going to have to be in there. I really hope we uh, put uh, RCS on this thing, which is really helpful in space. And you'll see on our next flight, we're going to press try for a satellite up when we land. Now I could land this thing, you know, wherever, maybe in the dark, but we don't really want to leave Jebediah on its own. So we are going to try and land roughly here. And I think the, I think, oh god, our where are we landing? Right, from now on I'm just going to burn at, I think this is called the prograde, or the, I, I don't know the specific names, just point of the X to decrease this. That should be good enough. And we're going to speed up. Okay, detach this fuel engine. into the atmosphere now, so we're going to activate our... Ooh, we got a bit of re-entry damage there, but at the moment that doesn't do any effect, so thank God for that, but uh, our parachute's now active. It looks like we didn't land near the space base, so... the space station, so it's probably there. Let's uh, see this thing touch down. Looks like we're in a desert. So our first landing, hope it goes well. I'm just speeding this up because usually this takes ages. So we're obviously in a desert with all those cactuses. And so far looking good. Before we hit the ground, I'm going to turn off the speed because sometimes it does make it blow up. Okay. Ooh. Okay, it's not going to be doing that anymore. And we have landed safely. So that's great. I'm getting rid of this maneuver because it's getting on my nerves. So it's not going to get rid of it. Either way, uh, damn it. <laughs> Either way, we have landed safely. I'm going to put on an EVA just in case, just to make sure he is okay. And I think he's stuck on a ladder. <laughs> Here he is. He's fine, there's Jebediah Kerbin on our first flight back. And let's take a screenshot just for good measures. Yes, he loves having his photos taken. Okay, we're going to end this flight now and we're going to get started on our uh, satellite. So we're going to want to get one of these, I think it's called Sputnik 2, Sputnik Mark 2. And then we're going to want to get some... 
let's get some stru some structural things. The three of these. Should make it four, so there's enough room for solar panels. And we're gonna go to utility and we're gonna add some battle attacks. How big are these ones? Can I actually put that? Um they're too big. I think we'll be fine with these. Add two. Three. And then we're gonna have these lovely solar panels. Yeah, they may be going into it, but you know, our scientists make some brilliant machines so they can collide. Let's just uh, get some more. Let's get some structural. Hmm? Oops, pardon me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, we're gonna get a small decoupler. Um, actually, I think we might have to have more. A small decoupler, then. Some more structural struts. Just to make sure nothing collides when we disembark. And then we're just gonna have on this. I think we should get away with just. Ooh, no. We should get away with just uh, two of these, maybe. And we're gonna add our basic engine. To get our decoupler. Not that one, this one. And I think I'm gonna try it. Last time we did a try, a try rocket, and this time I'm gonna do a single rocket, but it's gonna be big. It's gonna be a big one. These are the first time we've seen these orange things, and we're gonna use the biggest. I believe is the biggest. It is the biggest. And we are gonna add. I think let's go with six. We're gonna add six solid rocket boosters. That should be plenty. Add that to there. Now you may have noticed that I haven't added any any parachutes. And um, that's because we're not planning on landing this, this is a satellite. So hopefully we can get this in space and let it stay in space. Oh, we need on six. Now, as learned from last, I nearly forgot, but we're going to put some RCS on this one, because that was really annoying. Whoa, god, where's the... Ah, there they spawned up. Right. Ooh, not six. Two, one would be enough, just, you know, just to make it symmetrical. Yeah, that looks good. And then we're gonna have RCS thrusters on four, and we're gonna check the mass. Right, the central mass is down here, but I don't think we'll be able, won't need to be actually using these until about here. So we're gonna have one there, but just for good measure, we're gonna have some at the top of these and at the bottom of them. Even though I don't want to use them. We're gonna have our cannons. And our nose nose cones. And these are the things I didn't add last time, these are called structural struts. We're gonna add a four. Down from the satellite. Down will that work? No, the attachment to itself. That's not gonna be helpful. Um maybe here, down, damn it. Um, can't attach onto them, can I? That's in there. Add some to these. Right, that should be fine. I think that's how you spell Voyager. I don't know. I'm really bad spelling Mark. Mark 1. Right, save and let's launch. Okay. Let's hope for the best here. And. Oh, I forgot to put 
the lift off the catch of things. That should be okay. And these are in the wrong place. <laughs> so far, so far, so good, right? So much moral talent have we got? We got 80. It's not much, but you know we can deal with it. Ooh, this is. And I forgot to put SAS on again. <laughs> Damn it. Our engines are heating, so we're gonna turn down our throttle a little bit. And should be able to get in quite safely here. Hmm. Notice this now. Our detacher for our solid rocket boosters were at the same time as the normal rocket, so we would have lost our main fuel supply mount to get actually into space, so that wouldn't be good. Let's lose these before we destroy ourselves. How high is our apostasies? Let's get it to 250, then we're gonna stop. A little bit too far, but we should bring that down a little bit. Oh no, we're already in space. Okay, we're gonna... Um, I won't actually get my... Uh, watch my jigs out yet. The solar panels. Because we're just not far enough. Oh, I want to be out of fuel before we do any of that. I'm just going to add a maneuver here. And we're going to just quickly pull this out. Three fourteen. Oh, damn, I touched the... Never touch the pink ones, they take a lot of fuel to use. Okay, that's good enough. And this is where the RCS comes in handy, look at that. It's much easier to turn in space, a lot more control. Uh, okay. Let's see if you can get this orbit before I have to go. And burn, burn, burn. <laughs> Bingo, our first satellite. Now, unfortunately, this is going to have to follow us round, which isn't so bad, but it kind of irritates me. I should have put, like, a mini thruster on the satellite, but uh, we learn, right? So this is our spaceship with this horrible mess over there. <laughs> but at least we've got one in the sky now. These are our solar panels. I think this looks so cool. Looks like it's got a bit of a glitch there with the struts, but these old hands look so cool. Um, 
unfortunately I've run out of time, so let's do a quick few laps around this space. Woohoo! Yeah, this this is like 1,000 times more than normal. I think uh, the 100 looks nice. It's uh, quite a nice speed to go around on. Okay guys, I'll see you guys next time. And CMB signing out.